for joining me for Thighs of Steel 2. I'm Lisa Hart. I've created some very concentrated exercises to give your thighs that sleek toned look you're striving for. Together we'll challenge every muscle of the thigh area from your gluteals and hamstrings, quadriceps to your inner and outer thigh. Now pace yourself and build up gradually to doing all of the exercises. You'll need a chair for balance during the toning work. Set it aside, we'll use it after the warm up. And have plenty of water on hand to drink during your workout. Now I have a warm up plan for you that will put your muscles right to work. Let's get started. All right, march it out. First what I want you to do is give me three marches and one tap. In, four, three, two, right here. It's march, two, three, and tap. Again, next we'll be moving these three marches and tap forward and back. In four, three, two, step forward. Press it up. Again, inhale this time, lift it, and step touch side to side. Rhythmic movements, four, three, two, hands to your thighs, press down, three, four, and ramp. Again, press it. Now lower your hips, down and up. Press and lift, press and lift, four, three, bring it back in, left foot. Inhale, exhale once more, inhale, step touch, out, press it. Five, six, seven, hands to your thighs, take it down. And up, down, and up, hips lower and lift, press and lift, contract as you lift. Four, three, from the top in ones, one time up. Exhale, take it down, step, and one lower back stretch this time, and hip press. And in, left side. You go up one time. Step touch side to side. Four, three, two. Lower back right here, it's down. And round, press your hips. And from the top, once more. So we're increasing the body temperature, getting you ready for your workout. Four, three, two, lower back. Nice rhythmic motions. Round and press. Last time, this side. Get you ready for your stretch. Step touch, reduce the risk of injury. Lower back right here, take it down. And round, now hip. And take a deep breath, inhale, lift it. And exhale, again. And exhale, take it down in four, three, two, step reach, and step, and lift. Keep it right here, lift it. Last four, three, two, now cross it. It's step, cross. And four, three, two, up for four. It's up, two, three, now cross it. Four, three, two, once more. Take it up, two, three, and cross it. Four, three, Two, now lean it, side and side. Last four, three, bend those knees and press and round. Press and round. Four, three, two, and one. Walk those feet in, just about hips distance apart. And let's take one leg back, move you right into your stretch. Plant that heel into the floor, feeling a stretch in your calf, your gastric nemius. Lean the body weight slightly forward and hold. Now, we'll take the knee forward and press the heel back right here. Knee forward, heel back. Exhale and inhale. Four, feeling the stretch all through here. Two, and one. Now hold it. Press into this hip. Just hold the stretch, stretching the front of your thigh, your quadricep. We'll be working that later. And. Let's just shift the weight into the back leg. Support your body weight here. Hips go further back. Bend that front knee. Flex the foot. Extend the body out. And hold that stretch. For four, three, two, 
and press it here and round and straight. Last four, three, two, and one. Take the other leg back. Plant that heel again into the floor. Abdomen is contracted inward. Hold the stretch through the calf for four, three, two, knee forward and back. It's forward and back. Tilt it and back. Last four, three, two. Get ready to hold it and hold here. More intense stretch. Always hold. Last four, three, two. Shift your weight back. Hips are still in alignment. Facing me, bend this front leg, flex the front foot, and just hold that stretch. Last four, three, two, and one. And round it slowly up. Knees stay slightly bent. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Lift it up again. Now step touch side to side. Now your muscles are all warmed up and ready for your workout. Take those feet apart. Take a deep breath, inhale up. And exhale down. And let's get right to it. For your first set of thigh work, we'll be standing. You've got your chair for balance, so let's get right to it. Turn and face your chair. Feet about hips distance apart, and your arms are at a comfortable length from the chair. Contract your abdominal muscles inward towards your spine, and point your tailbone down towards the floor, causing a slight pelvic tilt forward. This is your neutral position, and I'll be referring to it throughout the entire workout. Now, I'm going to take you through a series of squats to work your entire hip and thigh area. Now the movement on this one will go up on one, two to your toes, slowly lower down three, four into a squat position. Now in a squat, it's very important that you keep your weight back in your heels and your weight is going to shift back slightly as if you're sitting back on another chair behind you. What I want you to avoid doing in this position is taking your knees out farther than your toes. It puts far too much pressure on the patella, your kneecap. So we hip those hips back. Now, then we'll come up on seven, eight, tightly contracting through the buns, your gluteals, and then there's two deep squats in between. And a deep squat is just down and lift, and let's go up onto your toes. It's up, two, three, four, and down, six, seven, contract, and squat. Again, take it up, think about it. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, and two, up. It's a little different motion. Five, six, seven, eight. Contract. Squeeze. So think about it. Stand tall and contract. And right back into it. Control it. Five, six, seven, eight. And let's keep going. Stick with me. Five, six, seven, contract. Press. And keep going. We're almost there. And I'll teach you a new one. Press. One more. Avoid holding on tightly to the chair. Just use it for balance. And press. And release it. Tip those hips back once. Stretch into it. And round it all the way up. Now, feet are still hips distance apart. Get back into your neutral position. Now, there'll be a squat and a leg lift, then it's higher, and then it comes down on seven, eight. We'll do it to both sides, get ready. In, four, three, two, take it down, and it's down. Lift, higher, other way. Down, lift, higher, and as you lift the leg, you can flex the foot, press through the heel. Now we're working the outer hip area, your gluteus medius, also referred to as your abductor. Press, lift, up. One more each way. And other side, you're doing great. Stick with me and stretch those hips back again. Next, what we're going to do is combine the first movements that I showed you with the squat and leg lift. In, four, three, two, go up onto your toes. Up, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, two squats, then one squat, leg lift, and other side. 
from the top. Up, two, three, four, and down. Six, seven, and squat. One squat, leg lift. Up, and other side. Abdomen stays contracted inward. Standing tall, lift up onto your toes. Five, six, seven, two squats. And get ready, leg lift. And other side. And take it down, and it's up. Heels contract. One squat. Now let me see it. Feeling the contraction right here. Press. And release it. Take it up. Down. Contract. Two squats. You're doing fantastic. Get ready. Up. And other way. And release it. Let's stretch back into those hips again. Tilt it to one side. Feeling a stretch all in that outer hip area. And if you start to feel a burn during these exercises, that's natural, it's okay. Just stretch it out and lift it up. Now I'm gonna teach you one leg lift, a little bit different tempo. We'll go up for four slowly, then when we get to the top, we're gonna pulse and get a little extra contraction. Get ready in four, three, two, lift up. It's up, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, squeeze in on eight. Up, two, three, four, pulse, six, squeeze through your inner thigh, lift, a little higher, a little higher, and pulse it. Stand tall and squeeze together, lift, two, three, four, and pulse, six, seven, and release it. Let's stretch back into that hip once, and come slowly up, four, Three, two, other leg, up, four, three, two, standing tall, pulse, six, squeeze and contract, in, up, higher, lift, and pulse for four, three, bring it in, again, lift. You can do it, concentrate, again, the leg doesn't have to lift very high, and pull it in, again, two, Three, four, and pulse it. Six, seven, and eight. Now lean back, stretch into that hip, and release it. Round it all the way up. Let's feet, take the feet out to hips distance apart again. And just go down for two, up for two. And it's down for two. Contract and roll. Down for two, and up for two. So we've worked just about every muscle group in the hip and thigh area. Take it down, two, and up, two, sitting tall, remember that chair's right behind you, later on I'm going to let you take a seat in this one for some more leg combinations, take it down, for two, and let's do this once more, it's down, two, and up, two, and release it, now take one foot slightly forward and the other leg extends back. Now it's time to work more concentrated on your hamstrings and your gluteus maximus. Then later on, I'll pull in some abductor, the gluteus medius, the outer hip. For this exercise, the body weight is leaned slightly forward. We're still maintaining that neutral position by contracting the abdominal muscles inward towards your spine and tilting the pelvis slightly forward. Now this movement starts with a pointed toe to the back and then we lift up just a few inches. Contracting here. Then I want you to flex your foot, maintaining that contraction, pull it way in, push through the heel, and come back to a toe point. Now it's very important that you keep your hips squared to the chair. Let's take it up. Lift, curl, push, and lower. So the only movement is coming from my leg, lifting straight back. Push right here, and point. Now the only time you let it rest is on the way down. Contract. Keep the contraction. Lift with me. You're doing great. Pushing a heavy door behind you. Lift. And one more. Push it back. Make it good. And release it. Let's step back into that back. Lean into that hip. Stretch it out. 
And the next exercise, as I told you, we're gonna pull in some outer hip area. Start with a pointed toe, and we lift just slightly upward to the side. Then, as you cross behind, feel a contraction in the inner thigh, lower down gently. Lift again to the side, and come back to the beginning in a toe point. In four, three, two, lift side, let's go. Up, cross, and again. So the leg doesn't lift up very high. We're still keeping those hips squared to the chair. Easy rhythmic motion. Constant toe point. Last four, three, two, and one. Take it back. Stretch back and take it up. Then we'll combine them, the two, in four, three, two, lift up. So there'll be one hamstring curl combo, one side leg lift, side, back from the beginning, lift it, lift, curl, push, and lower, keeping those hips squared, yes, good, take it up, push back through that heel, make it good, working on a nice rounded rear end, you've got it, push, Abdomen stays contracted inward. Let's go. We only have four more. Push back. Lift side. Bend slightly. Now that you've got the move, concentrate on every portion of it. And lift. Keep with me. Now you can take a break if you need to. Don't worry if you can't make it through all of the exercises the first time. Stand tall. Inside. And release it. Take it back. And round it all the way up. Now, when we go to the other leg, I'm going to go ahead and turn my chair around so that you can really see my form here. It's very important that you keep that. Now, let's go back again with that foot close to the chair. Take a foot back. And take it up. You know what to do. And push. Lower. Hips are squared. Flex. Push. Lower. Now you might, may find that you're stronger on one side than the other. That's normal. If you're right-handed or left-handed, right-sided, left-sided. Push. Take it down. Lift. And press. Hips are squared. Abdomen contracted inward. And almost there. Last one. Get ready. Side. And point from the top. You've got it. Remember to contract through the inner thigh as you take it right here. Leg doesn't lift very high. Control it. So every movement has its own purpose. We're not swinging. We're lifting. Keep going. Remember, next we do a combo of each. And one more. Get ready to take it from the top. Hamstring curl, let's go. Lift, curl, push, point. Here's that combo. From the top, pointed, hips are squared. Avoid rotating your hips out. Lift, lower gently. From the top, again, keep going. You are doing a fabulous job. And contract. Very controlled movement. Stand tall. Don't arch your back. Looks good. Concentrate. And lift it. Here we go. And side. Keep going. You can do it. Hey, don't worry if you have to take a break. It's better to do a few of them correctly than all of them incorrectly. You've got it. Side. From the top. Whew. Stick with me. You're doing great. And side. And take it back. Round into it. Press into the lower back. Round it all the way up. And release it. Take it down. And round up. Let's do that once more. And now from here, take those feet about hips distance apart. And I want you to go back to that squat and lower and lift. Lower, contract, lower, contract. 
So we worked your total hip and thigh area. We started out working the quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. Went into outer thigh. Then really concentrated on the hamstrings and glutes. Press. Now, down for two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Press and lift it. Remember, your weight goes back into your heels, contracting, remaining contracted through the abdomen. Breathe with it, press. Let's do that two more times. Take it lower for two and lift for two. Last one and round up. Relax it. Now, we are really going to concentrate on your inner and outer thigh and a little bit hip flexor. Abdomen contracted inward, tailbone pointed towards the floor, hips in that neutral position as always. Arms on the chair. Now in this movement, we lift up to the side, just a few inches off of the floor, then we rotate from the hip. And as you do so, lift the knee slightly upward, working the hip flexor. All right, now rotate back center, and as you do so, push the heel out, feel the contraction right here in the gluteus medius. Then for the last counts, we squeeze in and contract through the inner thigh. In four, three, two, lift up. So it's lift, higher, push, contract in, lift, rotate, back out, and in. Lift, rotation, press through the heel. So it's outer thigh, hip flexor, outer thigh, inner thigh. Did you get all that? Push out and in. Stand tall, lift, press the heel, contract, and you've got it. Just one more. Lift, rotation, push, and release. Round back and round it up. I'll show you the next move. And this one, still inner and outer thigh, we're going to take it out with a strong contraction and then firmly contract through the inner thigh, pressing the arch of the foot towards the other heel. Take it up again and just back in. In four, three, two, let's do it. Make it good. Press and again, easy move. So since it's simple, really concentrate on the inner and outer thigh. Go. So it's outer, inner, out, in. You've got it. Press. Keep going. Almost there. Then we're going to combine these two moves. Stick with me. You're doing great. Last one. Out. Squeeze. And little break. Take it back. Think about that first exercise. In. Four. Three. Two. Lift. Rotate. Lift. Rotate. Press. Second combo. Back. Inner thigh. First combo. Rotate. Push. And. Squeeze. Make every movement count. Lift. Rotate. Press. Here it is. And. Squeeze back. All right. Lift. Feel it here. Here. All right. Really squeeze as you take it back. Almost there. Press through your heel. Stand tall. Avoid leaning into that side hip, your supporting leg, and rotate. Push. You're doing great. Feel free to take a break if you need to. You're doing great. And almost done. Keep trying. Here's your last one. Rotate. Make it good. Press. Lift side, then back. And squeeze in. Roll it back. Let's stretch into both hips. Lean over. Feels good. Feel the stretch in the outer hip area. And slowly take it to the other side. Holding there. And round it all the way in. And again, I'm going to take the chair to the other side so that you can really see the form. And get ready. Lift up. Lift up. Rotate. Press. Squeeze in. Lift, rotate, press, squeeze in. Now you know the movement. Make the most out of every count. Press right here. And keep going. Press four. Push it. 
Stand tall. Still keeping those hips in the neutral position. Slight rotation there. That's where I'll let you rotate. And second movement. All right, concentrate. Get those hips squared to your chair. Back. When you take that leg back, you can really contract through your gluteals. Inner thigh, outer. Good. And keep going. Last four. Here's three. Then we do the combination of the two exercises. Keep going. Stick with me. Your legs are going to look great. Lift. Press. And release it. So it's lift. Turn. Press. Second one. Back. And again. Make it good. Push. You've got it. Contract. Lots to remember, but I know you can do it. Turn it. Press out. Here it is. And inner thigh. Now lift. Rotate. Press through your heel. Squeeze. Out. Keep going. Stand tall. Press through your heel. And takes hard work, but you can do it. Lift, rotate, press, and remember to stand tall. Two more. Takes time. And here's your last one. Make it good. And lift side. You're almost there. And squeeze, contract in. Woo! Great job. Press into that side hip. And other side. Even your supporting leg gets a little workout. Rotate back into those hips. And just feel a nice long stretch in the lower back. Round it. And press. And round it all the way up. And melt into it. Take it down. Round up. And now let's take those feet a little bit further than hips distance apart. Your toes are turned slightly outward and just lower and lift. Tailbone towards the floor. Just a little plie to take a break in between our next exercise. And lower and lift. Exhale and inhale. Contract. Stand tall. You did a great job in those. Now walk it all the way in and round it up. Now place your chair in front now. Now you get to finally have a seat in it. Next we'll be concentrating on working your quadriceps. Now for a beginner level position, slide yourself all the way back into the chair so that your back is supported. And for this movement, it starts from here with a bent knee and then we press through the heel forward. We're using your own leg weight as resistance. Now for a more advanced move, go ahead and sit on the edge of the chair, still sitting up tall, supporting your lower back, and for more resistance, you can take that leg up a little bit higher, but no higher than there. And then if you need a break, you can take it down lower. Now get ready, we'll try eight repetitions forward. Three, two, press forward, press out, and pull. Now as you extend that leg forward, avoid locking the knee. We keep it slightly bent. Last, four, three, contract, two, last one and release it. Let's set that leg down, realign, sit tall, and take it in four, three, same thing this leg, and press it. Forward, pull, press, release. Feeling a workload right here in your quadricep, the front of your thigh, last, four. Stick with me, three, two, and one. Set that foot down, always realign in between the changes. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of a tempo change. In four, three, just do it right along with me. We take it forward, two, three, four, back, five, six, and press again. So it's slow, two, three, hold it up, back, for two, strong press, and forward, two, three, four, pull it back, six, seven, and eight, last one, two, three, four, strong pull, and press, and pull. 
set it down. I know these are tough and you can take a break if you need to. In four, three, two, slowly forward. Four, three, two, and pull. Strong press, back, forward, two, three, four. Slowly back, here's your strong press, retract it. Press forward, slowly out further each time. Pull back, two counts, and push, and pull. Last one, forward, sit tall, three, four. Concentrate, back, six, seven, and eight. Now release it, lift up. Now I want to teach you about an exercise group called your medial quadricep muscle. Now when we're exercising this, we're going to reduce the risk of injury to the knee by strengthening that muscle. And you just press forward. Press. Release it. Press. So we've got the leg turned out slightly. Still leading with your heel. Last. Four. Sit tall. Three. Two. And one. Switch legs. Sit up. Leg lifted. And ready. Take it out. Press and pull. You're doing great. Stick with me. It's not a big deal if you need to take a break. Grab some water. Last four. Three. You can do it. And one. Release it. Now sit up tall again. And we're going to combine some of those movements. There'll be two quad presses, then that slow tempo, then eight medial presses forward. Let's take that leg up. Get ready. In. Four, three, two, two quad presses. Forward, slow pace, press, further, further, slow back. Five, six, seven, eight medial presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, from the top. It's one, two, stick with me, slow. Six. There you go. And pull it back. Two. And press. And medial. Three. Four. Keep it with me. Six. Seven. Again, you can do it. Press. Pull. And slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Back. Five. Six. Push. Seven. Eight. Medial. Two. Sit tall. And five, six, seven. Just one more time. Push and pull. I know you can do it. Concentrate. These are tough. Four, three, two. Back for two. It's back. Two and press. And medial. Two. Stick with me. You can do it. Four, three, two. And release it. Now we need to stretch in between those. Those are very tough. Don't worry if you couldn't do all the repetitions the first time. There's always tomorrow. Get ready, realign. Remember those two quad presses and take it. Forward and back. Forward and back. Now slow. Two, three, four, pull, five, six. Press it and medial press. Two, three, four, that's five. Six, get ready, two quad presses, press and pull. Make it good, I know you can do it. Press, pull, forward, and two back, one, two. Strong press and pull, medial, two. Last, four, three, two, stick with me, press, pull, again, slow, one, two, Three, come back, five, six, press, turn it, and push, two, three, you've got it, four, three, two, let's go, push it, this is your last one on this side, sit tall, four, three, two, back slow, and press, four, and back, medial, one, two, count with me, it'll help you through it. Last, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Set that leg down. Let's lift up and stretch down. Round that lower back up. And let's cross that first leg you used over. Feeling a stretch in that outer hip area. Sit tall. Be proud. You did a wonderful job. 
Those are really tough. Switch legs and pull it up. Hold that stretch. Now, I want you to lift up carefully and rotate your chair to the side. Let's go on down to the floor. Place your feet up on top of it and move down towards it. Carefully lower yourself down one elbow at a time. Now, we'll be working primarily the buns to start out this segment. And what I'd like you to do is tilt the pelvis slightly upward by contracting firmly through your gluteus maximus, your buns. And then as we take it slowly down, we relax and release it. Get ready in four, three, two, lift up, contract. So it's contract. Your tailbone will clear the floor. Mid back down to your waist will stay in contact with the floor. Now the execution of this crunch is lifting up through a contraction through your buns. Keep going. Crunching it up. Contract. Pelvic tilt. Very good exercise for the buns. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Now for a little bit more advanced move, move yourself a little bit further back from the chair. Just about to where your ankles and heels are still on the chair. And same contraction pace and take it up. It's up and down. Exhale and inhale. Breathing out. Then we're going to change the tempo a little bit. In. Four. Three. Give me two more like this. And now go up for two, down for two. It's up for two and down slowly. So you have a tighter contraction and down. Release it. Up, two, a little bit more exaggerated. Pressing up, lowering, relaxing. Last four. And concentrate. Very specific movement. Down for two. And contract. Just one more like this. Take it up for two and down for two. Relax it. Now what I'd like you to do is take one leg up and cross it over the other and let the knee fall gently out to the side. Plant your heel into the chair. Now remember that up for two, down for two, count, let's go. Up for two, down for two. So now we're creating more of a workload in the supporting leg. Take it up, contract, and breathe out and in. Keep going for four. A little more of a lift, three, just two more this set, then I'll teach you a new exercise. And up, two, and that's it. Now, take one leg up with the heel pointed towards the ceiling. Now we're going to incorporate your glutes, hamstring, and bring back in some of that quad. We've given it a little bit of a rest. Now this movement will just push up, contracting, tilting, and pressing. And then we take it lower down in four, Three, two, press up eight times. It's press and lower, press and lower. So we're working various muscle groups. Push, you've got it, two more. Here's one and two. Release it, take it all the way down and just switch legs. Plant that heel into the chair, cross it, tip it over in four, three, up two, down two, here we go, up. For two, and down, two, and tailbone is clearing the floor, lift up, two, and down, two, contraction, don't forget to breathe, last four, and down, slow pace, don't rush it, just two more, and we'll move on, last one, and release it. Take that foot up, readjust, plant your heel. Remember, pressing up with both legs. Let's take it up right here. Up and lower. Contraction mainly through the supporting leg. And pressing here. Last four. Three, two, and one. Release it. Take it all the way down. Both feet are on the chair. And let's take the back leg and cross it over. Feel the stretch. 
and all in the outer hip area. Set that foot back down, switch legs. Pull that leg in, feet back on the chair, about hips distance apart, and contract up, let's go. Contract, release. So now those buns should be a little bit fatigued and feel these contractions a little bit more. Up and lower. Contract, release, give me four more. Three, two, up for two, down for two. It's up, two and down. Keep going, you've done a great job. And down for two, lift and four more. It's four, lower, three, two more this set. Concentrate on the contraction. And last one, now lower it down, slowly lift it up, and keep that tilt constant, and contract, contract. Try and imagine putting all the workload in your gluteus maximus. So relax the rest of the leg in four, three, two, up tempo, take it up and lower, up and lower. Exhale and inhale, breathe out and in, last four. Three, two, up two, down two, for eight, and down. Good job, stick with me, keep going, and contract on the way up, relax on the way down. You've got it, almost there, last four, lower, three, and Stick with me, two, just one more, up for two, down, now up and pulse, up, contract, make it good, this is it, squeeze it up, and last, four, three, two, and one, slowly lower it down, you have done a great job, let's take that knee into the chest, turn it over slightly, Feel a stretch all in that outer hip area. And other side. Relax it. And both feet back up. Take a deep breath, inhale up, and we'll move right on to our cool down. Let's take one leg back. Hold on behind your hamstring, the back of your thigh. Keep your knee slightly bent. And let's have a soft flex in that foot and pull gently back just until you feel a stretch. We want to hold this stretch, never bouncing it. It's a static stretch. Feel the stretch all along the back of the thigh. Hold. And now press that heel up towards the ceiling. And gently pull down. Once more. A little more of an intense stretch. You're working on your flexibility now. Now cross that leg over and gently let the knee fall to the side. Now reach through, again holding behind the hamstring, and pull towards you till you feel a stretch in the outer hip area. Very effective stretch. We still want to keep your lower back in contact with the floor. Hold this stretch and relax it. Let's switch legs. Take it up with a straight leg. Knee does stay slightly bent. Soft flex in the foot and pull gently back. Remember, just until you feel a stretch, don't force it. Now press that heel up and knee down. Once more, press up and gently pull back. Hold the stretch and cross that leg over. Let it fall to the side. Now reach through and pull it towards you. Now you should feel the stretch right through here, the outer hip area. Just hold it, and now let's take both knees in towards the chest, rock those knees gently back towards you, lifting your tailbone slightly up off of the floor, feeling a stretch in your lower back, and slowly down, take a deep breath, inhale, and rock back again. Hold that stretch, relax your arms, don't grip too tightly, take this time to relax, you deserve it. 
Let's take one foot down on the floor at a time. And extend one arm up. And just tip your knees towards me. Let your head rest on that arm. Now pull one leg back. Gently. Now from here, I want you to press into your hip. Don't arch your back. And feel a stretch in the quadricep, the front of your thigh. We really challenged your quads today. Never want to leave out the stretch. Hold it there. And release it. Take it down. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Long stretch. Relax. You deserve it. Once more. And exhale. Now carefully push yourself up. Let's just bring those legs around to the other side. Slowly lower yourself down. Head rests on the arm. And pull it slowly back. Remember, don't arch your back. Press into this hip and feel the stretch right on down that thigh. Hold it, relax your bottom leg. Just ease into the stretch. And lower that leg down. Inhale, reach, lengthen the spine. And exhale once more. And slowly take it down. Let's lift ourselves up to a sitting position. Just sit with your legs crossed. And take a deep breath, inhale up. You have done a fantastic job. Once more. And relax all the way down. You have just made it through a very challenging thigh workout. And remember, it's okay if you didn't make it through all of the exercises. Give yourself time. Do your Thighs of Steel 2 program three days a week, along with others in the Buns of Steel series, and you will have those Thighs of Steel in no time. Inhale up.